treatments. All right. So this yang chi cycle gives us sort of overview of how the psyche uh, unfolds or develops. So there are three circuits, each containing four vessels, and each have a specific stage of development associated with them. So the first circuit, as we said earlier, lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen, all the things you need for survival. Second circuit, heart, small intestine, ubi, kidney, all the things you need for self-awareness. Third circuit, pericardium, sand gel, gallbladder, liver, all the things you need for relationship. Um, so when we look at these specifically, the first circuit is about perception. It's about sensation. It's about thought, right? So these are all the things we need in order to survive. So this circuit represents issues of dependence that we experience as a child, right? Here's how we figure out what we need to do to get what we need to survive. Babies do this brilliantly. Babies change the tone, the volume, and the nature of their crying to communicate in a way to get what they need. Any mother will tell you that after a very short period of time, we can tell the difference between a I'm wet cry, I'm hungry cry, I'm in pain cry, I'm tired and cranky cry, I need you to cuddle me cry, I need you to put me down cry. We can tell the difference. And that baby is using the energetics of the paw, the spirit of their lungs, to create a sound which can then be differentiated or interpreted in order to get what they need. And so here's where we learn as children how to do that. And, and so really what we're dealing with is the idea of dependency and survival. Those are the two things that show up in the first circuit. So um, if you had everything you needed as a child, if you were responded to in a way where you wanted something and you got it, um, that might feel nice, but it probably wouldn't be great because then you wouldn't learn how to figure out what you need to do to get what you need. On the other hand, if you're completely neglected in life and no matter how much you cry or how much you vary your cry, you still don't get what you want. This is gonna get you stuck in this first, first circuit. Um, I very frequently see patients stuck in this fir first circuit who have everything they could possibly need um, as adults. So they're more than wealthy enough. They have shelter, they have food, they have family, they have love, they have support. But because they didn't get this in childhood, whatever they have is never enough. So they're always feeling deprived, if you will, always feeling like there's not enough. That's basically a first circuit issue. And so when you have this sort of first circuit issue, then um, you can treat that using the low points of the first circuit. And you can needle those four points, you can gua sha those four points, you can needle some and gua sha others. It's not like there's a strict protocol for this, but really what you're doing is trying to open up the movement in that circuit by using the low points. Now, if a person is depleted of resources, and so we would say there's emptying in one or more of these vessels, then you can also add the source points. To this treatment. So you have to figure out how many resources your person has. Um, is stagnation or latency the big problem or are they unable to maintain the latency and that's why they're suffering so much. So we're either using lung seven, large intestine six, stomach 40 and spleen four or we're using some combination of those four with source points associated with those channels. Mix and match however you want. If there's no right or wrong way to do this. Frequently, if I feel like there's deficiency in those um, channels, 
then what I'll do is start with the source point. So I'll start with lung nine, stomach four, um, sorry, large intestine four, stomach 42, and spleen three. And then I'll do the low points associated with that. Um, and you can mix and match it. We are not trying to use the transverse lows here. We're not trying to connect yin and yang. We're simply using the source points as a way to support resources so that release can happen. This is not about shunting energy. This is about getting some yuan qi to help the yin qi release. So that's the first circuit. The second circuit is, you know, we talked about self-awareness here. So this is the development of social skills, the capacity to live coherently with others, to have self-awareness, to have interaction. This is sort of what you see um, kids struggle with when they go away from home for the first time. Maybe they go to camp for the first time or they go to college for the first time and they're living in another environment where they don't have their parents around. So here you see the struggle for independence. So we see self-awareness and independence or individuation, if you will. Who am I and how do I express myself in the world? And so if you can see a person struggling with this, then you use the low points of the second circuit or the low and the source points, depending on how many resources your patient has. So the first one, survival, dependency. The second one, self-awareness, independence. The third circuit is the circuit that is associated with self-preservation in the face of the judgment of others. So here we see issues of self-differentiation. The ability to um, manage interdependence and the inherent struggles that are associated with that need. So I want to be part of a tribe. I want to be part of a community. Um, I want to be part of a, a family, if you will. Um, but I also need to deal with the fact that not everyone agrees with me. Not everyone likes me. Not everybody thinks that um, I'm all that in a bag of chips, right? So I have to manage the emotions and the stress of being judged by others. So the question for this circuit is how do we protect ourselves from the influence and expectations of others, right? How do we manage to create a level of self-preservation when we're in an environment where not everybody thinks the same way that we do, feels the same way we do, has the same goals, whatever that is. So first circuit, dependency, survival. Second circuit, independence, self-awareness. Third circuit, interdependence and self-differentiation. So once again, treat the circuit right? Use the low points for that circuit. And if you need to add the source points for support, do that. So um, 